All right, so I wanted to show you guys how to do this. And I'm trying to get this so you can see inside uh, this tool. It's kind of hard. I'm put it on bright like that, maybe that'll help. Okay, so put this drill bit in, um, right in that little slot there. You can tighten it or loosen it by turning this. That will open up the counterclockwise, will open up the prongs, clockwise will close the prongs. And as you close them, it'll lock onto the drill bit. So hold on to this part, turn the handle, and just let the prongs tighten up on the drill bit until it's hard to move. Yeah, like right there. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to take a look. This part has a notch right there. That notch corresponds with the flat spot right there and right there. So there's a, there's a notch on the top and the bottom. So you want to make sure that's in the right position. Otherwise it won't go in. See if I put it in like that, not going in, but now it will go in. So take this and you see those springs as I push this in, those spring open up and it allows the drill bit to come in contact with that stopper. So here's the thing. In order to position that drill bit in the right spot, you have to turn it, which is a little tricky. So by turning it, you're going to get it to move ever so slightly. And what you're trying to do is get the um, these metal tabs, the clamps, you want those to close in as tight as possible to the stop. So as you can see right there, they're, you know, quarter inch away from the stop. But if I turn the drill bit, let's see if it, if they lock in farther. See how that did that? So that guy just, they went in as far as they're going to go. And now I can tighten this up all the way. So now this is tight and really press that to release the clamp and you've got this guy in, in hopefully the right position. Now this is a, these are definitely tricky to position so it takes some getting used to and I certainly am not there yet um, but I'm going to give it a shot. To position this part into the hole here to sharpen it. You can see the diamond stone down there. In order to position this properly, you have to align that white line that's right here. There's one right there with the top and bottom. So doesn't matter which one, as long as the white line is lined up with the, the little line here and the one on the bottom. And then when you put it in, you can just turn it just to see if it engages. Because as you push it in and you turn it, this part here has kind of an undulating surface. So it goes, it gets thin here and then it gets thicker here. So as it gets thicker, it pulls the drill bit away. And as you turn it, it, it basically drops and grinds on the diamond. And then as you turn it some more, it lifts off the diamond and goes back into that spot. And now you turn it again to get the other side of the drill bit. Here, grind, and that's it. And if you hear it grinding when you make the turn and start lowering in, then you should be in a pretty good position. And you should hear equal sound. All right, that's it. So that sounds pretty good. Once you turn this on, now obviously, you, I'm sure you could do that um, and you might get decent results doing it by hand like that. But the whole idea of this machine is that it, there's a motor there that spins the stone. And that makes the stone have even wear as well, but take you a lot longer to do this by hand. All right, so this is all plugged in. I just need to press the on button and we'll get it going. See if you'll see the spinning of motion of the um, stone in there. Okay. 
drop this thing in. So it shouldn't cut in this position right here, but when you start to turn it, it'll start to cut. Now, I'm not pressing very hard at all. Okay, so that should be it. Just two light passes. And let's see what that looks like. When you look at this and you see that really shiny surface at the top, usually that's an indication that you've got a nice honed top and that def definitely looks like it. So I'm going to take that and see if I can uh, put it in the drill bit. I'm sorry, put it in the drill. Put the drill bit in the drill. And before this wouldn't cut. So let's see how it does now. And I'm not going to put much pressure on it. Can you see that? Oh man. Jeez. So before I would have to sit here and press and hard, you know, press hard, press hard, and it still wouldn't do it. So that's, I mean, one pass on each side. Um, that's amazing. So that definitely is good. Um, two passes. All you're doing is eating more material away. So if you don't mind, a couple passes probably is best, especially if you've got a really dull blade or a bit. But this guy sharpened just with one pass on each one. So that's a success. I mean, this is crazy. This was a basically, you know, a throw in on that because everything, everything else I got was, you know, worth a lot of money. I got such a great deal on everything. And to have this basically be, you know, nothing to, as far as cost goes, it's pretty crazy. So again, I think the best thing is just put it in here. Don't turn it on and just make a couple turns and listen. It should grind as you start to turn. So that's good. And now as you raise it up, it should stop grinding. And now as it drops again, you should start grinding. So that seems good. And don't press very hard. I'm going to take two passes. All right, let's see if we can see the, the shine on that. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Oh, yeah, perfect. So I'm going to do this. Uh, I always like to do a little test because if you don't do a test, you may be doing it wrong. And then, you know, once you get to the point where you've done a few of them, you'll, you'll know. But I'm not there yet. Oh, yeah. Just so easy. Oh, man. <laughs> Sweet. None of them do brad point bits, as far as I'm concerned, which is why I never got one of these. But the fact of the matter is, I have a lot of bits that aren't brad point bits. So really what I should be doing is, should have been uh, getting one of these, because I go through a lot of um, my um, countersinking uh, bits. Those have eighth inch uh, bits in there like this and so I'm constantly going through those and really what I should have been doing is just sharpening them it saved me a lot of headache subscribe and uh, let me let me know what you guys want to see next